My name's Jeremy, and this is how I met Jesus. I was born into a semi-Christian home. Uh, my mom was a Christian. My dad wasn't. He became a Christian a little later, but uh, we we went to church, and as a kid, I grew up in the church. Um, I'm told by my mom I, I made um, a decision of sorts when I was five that I wanted to be a Christian, but I, I can't really remember that, or I don't really remember any change in my life. And even as I think about growing up, and even as a young teenager and stuff, I, I had a I had a pretty rebellious heart, <clears throat> and uh, I, I I guess God was someone out there he was distant i think i believed that god existed and and maybe believed in jesus but there there wasn't anything foundational seemingly or or it wasn't it wasn't my thing it it was kind of something that was felt a little bit passed on from my parents it, it felt like this is our family thing this is our tradition this is what we do we're church going people um Probably if I could have chose, I probably wouldn't want to go. Hanging out with friends was an important thing. Sports was a thing. Uh, popularity was probably the most important thing. Um, so I, I just, I wanted to do anything and everything to be popular, to have the right friends, do the right thing. And uh, it was really fleeting. I, I don't think it really gave me anything meaningful. Um, God and spirituality really had nothing to do with it ever. I lived day by day. <clears throat> yeah, uh, I remember one particular day though. I it was it was a it was a bad day. A lot had gone wrong, and and I uh, I think I was probably depressed and and maybe full of anxiety for a number of reasons. I I really didn't feel like my life was going anywhere. I didn't really feel like I had any sort of purpose. Um. But uh, a friend of mine, uh, that night we we went out, maybe got some fast food, and then we didn't know really, really what to do, and so we just hung out in a parking lot in his Buick, and uh, just just chatting about life. And he started talking to me about God in a very different way. He he used uh, passages in the Bible and and principles from the Bible. Uh, you know, first found in the book of Ephesians, where it talks about that that we're we're predestined, that God knew us before we were born, and that and that He's got a plan for us, there, an individual an individual plan for us, and and He's got a plan for me. And that I, I don't I can't remember ever hearing that growing up in church. I I can't remember really realizing that God had that much forethought into my life. Um, but I still thought, you know, no, I'm a, I'm a bit of a screw up. I'm rebellious. I, I, I care too much about the wrong things. There's no way God can use me. And, and uh, again, maybe it was just that I was depressed and feeling down, but I, I just didn't feel worthy. I didn't feel that I was worth it. And uh, then uh, a verse from Philippians Philippians 1 6 being confident of this very thing that he being Jesus created a good work in you will carry it on to completion and as we talked that night in the car and as that principle unpacked that that I didn't have to be perfect that if God has a plan for me and he has a purpose for me that that eventually little by little he'll give me what I need to make that happen and, and I really believe that it was in that moment that I, that I think I gave my life to Jesus. And because the next day, everything changed. Um, popularity wasn't as important the very next day. Even, even the things I did, I remember going out to the smoking section of our high school the day after and, and guys were passing around weed. And I, I, I said boldly, I, no, I'm good. I'm a Christian now. I don't, I don't need that stuff. I'm kind of doing my own thing. And my friends were like, you know, oh, that's cool. You know, you, you, you're making your choice, you know. 
even before, I don't think I did drugs or drank or any of those rebellious things because I wanted to. It was all because I, I really wanted to fit in. I wanted to be popular. I wanted to do anything and everything to have people like me and accept me. But all of a sudden, that didn't matter as much. And, and I was okay with not doing everything I had to do to fit in. Jesus had replaced that, and, and it was almost overnight. And, uh, you know, who would have thought after that, that that God would put me on a journey and Jesus would call me to be a pastor. And now there's like nothing I would rather do, nothing more I'd rather do than to tell people in Whitehorse about Jesus and that Jesus would be able to make a difference in the city of Whitehorse and that he might use me. And I realized that way back then in that Buick in that parking lot, that that's what God had planned, that he had such a bigger plan for me. And though I didn't know it, that started something great. And I'm so glad that I met Jesus that night.